Hello guys today we will learn procedural modeling of fence. First let's create a geo node. So for the fence path we are going to use draw curve node. Using this we can draw a curve like we want, and the fence will automatically get generated. Set the projection to ZX plane and turn off show guide geometry. So here, I had draw a random curve. Add a null node. Take a resample node. If you turn of this, you can see we have lots of points in the curve. Since we are going to copy the fence holder on points, we need to reduce the point counts on the curve. Turn off the maximum segments length and turn on maximum segments. Now we will only have 10 points on the curve. You can increase the segment value if you wish. Take a wrangle node and write this expression. We are creating a normal attribute in the x-axis. Now we need to create the fence holder like this. Since we are doing this in a procedural manner, we should have control over the holder shape. Take a line node. Set the length to 8 for now. Again take a resample node. Turn off the maximum segment length and turn on the maximum segments. Set the value to 50. Make sure to turn on curve U attribute. Take an attribute wrangle. Write this code. Now we need to create a float ramp which will decide the shape of the holder. We are going to deform the line in the x-axis using a float ramp. Here we are also creating a parameter that will do an overall multiplication for the shape. Set the mult value to 1. Adjust the ramp as per your need. To make it in geometry, we need to add a revolve node. As you can see now we have a geometry based on the ramp that we created. Increase the division to 25. If you change the ramp you can see the geometry also gets changed. Now take a polyfill node. In the fill mode select triangle. If we need this holder as wood, we need to do some basic fracturing to get some crack. To make it some kind of haunted house fence. Take a transform node. Reduce the Y scale value to 0 0.1. Take a scatter node and scatter 3 points. Take a Voronoi Fracture node. You can add a Transform node and set the Y scale value to 10 to revert the Transform scale back to its original. Take a Assemble node and turn on Create Pack Primitives. Now add a point jitter node. This viewport bug sucks.
Anyways keep the scale value to 0 for now. Add a unpack node. Add a reverse node to fix the normals. Now add a normal node. Take a smooth node to smooth the broken edges. Take a switch node and connect the polyfill and the smooth node. If we don't want to get some edge details we can use the switch to bypass the fracturing. Now we need to use copy stamp node. But in the new version of Houdini, they have deprecated it. To get back for the current Houdini session we need to use text port. Open the text port window by clicking on the plus sign miscellaneous, text port. Write this command. Op unhide sop copy. Make sure to write S capital for the SOP. Now if you search for the copy stamp in the tab menu you can see the node is back. Connect the geometry to the first input and in the second input connect the curve. Turn on stamp input. We need to randomize the scatter points using the stamp variable. In the variable 1 write random integer. For the value write this code. Now in the scatter node, we need to use the stamp function. Write this expression in the scatter force total count. Now it's time to make the shape of the fence. In this tutorial, we are going to make a hexagonal fence. Maybe in the future, I will release another tutorial that will cover different types of fences. Connect a null to the line node. Object merge our curve attribute wrangle where we had set the normals. Now take a copy to the points node and copy the lines to the points. Now we need to make this a grid geometry. The easiest way to create a grid geo is using a skin node. Take a skin node. Cool. Now if you had seen, the fence mesh height is smaller as compared to the fence holder. So here add a transform node and reduce the Y scale to 0.8. Now add a remesh node. Set the iteration to 10 and the target size to 0.5. Now take a divide node. Turn off the convex polygon and turn on compute dual. In this way, we can able to create a hexagonal mesh. Now we need to convert this into lines. To do this drop a convert line node. After this just add a poly wire node and adjust the wire radius parameter. Don't make it high res, because if you have a long fence then it may end up crashing the Houdini.
add a null and now merge both props. Cool. Now if you change the curve you can see it automatically creates the fence. We can adjust the gaping between the holder by changing the segment of the curves. Now we can make a universal controller to access all the parameters in one place. The shape of the holder can also be adjusted. Take a null node. Click on the little gear icon and select Edit Parameter Interface. Now we need to take three float parameters and one integer parameter. First, we will create parameters for the holder. Let name it as the float is height, age, samples, and shape scale. Now copy the height parameter and paste it into the length of the line. Let's make a simple and small curve. Set the height to 8. Let's change the maximum parameter range to 1. Now copy the samples and paste them into the resample segment of the holder. Copy the age and paste it into the point jitter scale. Divide the value by 100. Again paste it into the smooth strength parameter. Let's increase the age value and see how the cracks are looking. Now we need to add a float ramp. Add all these parameters into a folder and name it a holder. Again add a folder and name it a fence. Add a float parameter and named it as a height. Again add a folder and name it a curve. Add an integer parameter and name it as a sample. Copy the height parameter and paste it into the scale of the fence transform Y axis.
and copy the sample parameter and paste it into the curve segments. Cool. Now we have all the parameters in one place. Add one more float parameter to the fence which will control the value of remesh. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. You can also support me on the Patreon link in the description.